Alrighty guys, welcome back to Dash Brothers Outdoors. We got a box in from Young's Bait and Lure. For those of you who've been following us for the past about a year or so, as they became our sponsor back in February 2020. But they were so glad about everything they had, so they only able to send two lures. Um, two ounces of a K1 and an ounce of a K1 Plus. That's all they had. So they were finally able to get their, their stock get more stuff in stock and um oh we're baiting formulated for 2020 for 2020 2021 20, 20, 20, season and uh so we're gonna rip this open so you can't wait to try out some of this stuff and now very well packaged definitely look at this no worry about any of this breaking unless the postal employees are beating on a sledgehammer. Wow. This is some of their Agent Orange. It is a polar and it comes inside a sealed bag with duct tape on the lid and wrapped in a uh, bubble wrap. Go up and take a look at that. They take some care to seal off their good lures, so you don't have to worry about it if you buy it. You know, we have had. You know, she mailed some bait and lure one time, and I guess they didn't package it very good, and they threw it. The postal employee threw it out. Because it's not so bad, but you don't have to worry about that with young bait and lure. You're going to get what, what you buy, you know. No delays. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice. Looks like a four ounce bottle or something. This is. Ooh, we got. Looks like a four ounce bottle of K1. They sent some of this last season at the you know, it was at the end of the season, so we weren't able to use it very much. But I took it and I used it at a remake from a skunk I caught and um, while my trap was snapped, the coyote came up and he, d he dug the hole out some and then he did like a scratch kick at the set, which triggered that shows that has both a food and territorial response. And when I talked to Joe Young about this lure, he said it is like like a call, food, and uh, territorial lure all in one. So we can't wait to try out some K1 this season. Let's see. Oh, it's mine. This is their, uh, it's a test lure. It's their test number three lure. Um, it has not officially been released on their website yet, but um, they sent us uh, three other test lures to try out this season, and this is a word on Joe Young's bait lure. Um, they had just started selling lure in 2020, but um, they have been making lure for a good many years, and just now, just now started uh, trying to sell it. So, and he also had one. Uh, he first became a sponsor. He did not have a website up, but he, um, he did not. But now he does. I'll leave a link, a link in the description for you. If you want to go check out his website, it's easy, easy to navigate on. Easy to make an order. This is he sent two bottles. So let's test number two. Here. This bundle looks good. Oh boy, this is one of their baits. This is their ambush bait. Got a pint of it. It's a beaver based predator bait. And I've seen some uh, good reviews about this. You got a picture of a dirt, just a piece of punch in a dirt hole somewhere. And put the ambush down it. And there was a big crater there uh, when it came back. So I'll be interested to find out. Uh, ambush. And another good th nice thing is. We, we've only used two uh, beaver meat based baits the entire time we've been trapping out in this this is going to be before we're trapping the same land and uh, actually one of wildlife control smokehouse predator bait is beaver meat based and we had really good luck with it so I'm going to be excited to try out another beaver based bait since it's something that animals haven't smelled very much around here in the past years we've used a lot of uh, bobcat and 
Oh, what was that? Horse meat base. Yeah, I'm talking too much. Um, this is his test one lure. All of them are, have the have uh, tape around the lid so they don't leak. And here's another bottle of his um, Agent Orange color. Um, let's see if we can get this. This is another bottle of his tape one. All of them can come taped up inside a bubble wrap and then they, they got another sealed off bag that they're inside. These things are very, very well packaged. This is his test number two lure. We've got the way these are all four ounce bottles. So we shouldn't have to worry about running out of lure this season. Oh, watch it. Let's get my some more ring on this here table. A lot of packaging. Dropped them twice and neither bottle was damaged. You probably dropped this off the skyscraper. It wasn't breaking. Another bottle was test number one. We'll definitely give it some testing. Yeah, well, let's test it until it keeps testing anymore. Test number two. Again, another bottle of that. And then, it appears to be the last. Oh boy, ambush. Wee wee. And he has another bait that, if you listen to our episode two of Sat Saturday Fur Trapping Hour, where we, where we interviewed Joe Young, he mentioned on there another bait that is going to be a test bait actually. That um, he said he, his dad brought up it's a real simple recipe, but he has caught the dickens out of everything on it, and it's not ready yet. So um, he only said he said he may send some of that later in the season. So we're going to restart the season with ambush. And some important news. A week from today, which is October the 19th, we're starting trapping because we've lost three cats. Kitty, get off the screen. There's one of the cats. Get off of there, dummy. Anyways, we're, we're starting an operation to save our cats because Operation Save the Cats. We've lost three cats. We had three mama cats. And uh, two litters of kittens, all the mom cats are gone. So, we've got a trap to ensure the safety of our, our, of our kittens. So, we're starting a week early. So, you'll be seeing some uh, videos on that pretty soon. So, we've got two four ounce bottles of his test number three, two four ounce bottles of his test number two, two uh, four ounce bottles of his test number one. Four, two four ounce bottles of his K1, two one ounce bottles of his uh, Agent Orange, and the reason he only sent an ounce of this is he only use a very small amount of color at any set because it's so loud you don't need very much. So that's going to be plenty enough to get us through. And then two pints of his Ambush. So we're going to jump back with you right in a minute after we get all these things unpackaged and we're going to give up. If we always do, you know, smell and tell you what we think. So, jump right back to you, right, right back to you with that. It'll be interesting smelling those call lures. Yep. So, let's jump to it, guys. Hey guys, uh, we're gonna open up some of these and see what they smell like. Well, that's definitely a different smell. It's almost sweet. You can see it's a very finely. Uh, yeah. Ground paste, bait, beaver meat, like I said before. And uh, if you have some sneaky predators out there that you can't catch, ambush them. So uh, let's see now. We got some K1, so it says shake before use. I'll pop the lid on this. It's pretty mild lure. 
almost kind of musky. Um, and it's, it's pretty subtle. I mean, not I mean, it's not a real strong something. It's not overwhelming. Yeah, but it's definitely something that's going to improve your canine catch. And another thing I didn't mention before is, I mean, my our dog Jesse will usually eat just about anything you give her, but. Um, I offered her some K1. She didn't. I mean, she didn't really smell that interested. I went over to her sandbox and just stuck a old hole into it, squirted some of this down it. Came back the next day. There's a crater there and a pile of scat right there in the middle of the crater. I don't know if she did it or if uh, our neighbor's dog came over and did it. But either way, I mean, she she would definitely eat it, but she didn't just try to aggressively dig it with me standing there. But then again, she doesn't like to eat with us watching. So now we're gonna crack open some test one. Shake it up somewhat. I don't know if you can shake it. That's mm -hmm. real thick. Oh, nice. I like that smell. It's real thick. Paste a little bit. <laughs> a real thick paste. Um, you can smell the be beaver caster in it, definitely. Uh, I'm assuming that this is a curiosity lure. But there you go. It's a. Uh, Let me take a sniff of that. Yeah. I can smell the beaver caster in there. Yeah, and what we like, we don't like real loud, nasty lures. Because down here in Texas, we don't get that much cold weather, at least in our portion of Texas. And we haven't really had very much success with big, loud, wicked things. Like really painted, yucky stuff. Uh, I've never, all of my fresh baits, definitely. like um, Mark June's Widowmaker, it's a fresh uh, bobcat base, and I caught half my coyotes on the last season. It's I like the fresh stuff a lot better, so I'm definitely excited to try out all three of these that we've smelled so far. Now this one's got some skunk in it. I mean, I do like skunk for my nasty and colder weather, and I've caught you know I don't have a problem with skunk, but if once it gets really overwhelming, yeah, I've had some good luck so far trapping the ADC job we're doing videos on. I've been using some of that hell yeah one of wildlife controls. It's pretty good stuff. I want to to try out some of that. Uh, Agent Orange. Yeah. So um, here this is. Um, skunk. It's pretty. I mean, it's, it's got it's some a, skunk in it. Yeah. It's a mellow skunk smell. It's not like <coughs> like skunk just spray in the room when you crack, crack the lid. But it's got enough, you know, to reach out on, you know, cold winter nights and whatnot. So going through that nasty weather. Well, this one is a little bit more liquid because I can hear it shaking. Slosh around there. Ah, this one's weird. It's a mice-based but a uh, lure. It is definitely the most the weirdest lure I've ever smelled. Um, not like it's real rancid, but it's it's just a very different lure. So I can't wait to try this out. And gray fox. Um, I've had luck, a lot of luck on Gray Fox with MySpace lures, so um, I'm excited to try that out. So now, I don't think I need to take this out of the package to explain to you what it smells like. Um, we did take it out earlier, and this is a very strong call lure. Um, and it's the only orange lure we got, so hence its name, Agent Orange. Um, it is a very deep call lure. So for you guys uh, up north, um, you know Maine, like where Young's Bait Lure is from, and you know if wherever you get down in the negatives, low, low digits at night, this is gonna be good for you. I don't know personally if I would put this out of set, especially since we're so warm down here, um, because that might uh, cause a rolling reaction. But what I would do with this personally is I take it up and I put it on a on a twig or a branch above the set. And that's, you know, the, a breeze will, you know, blow that smell around, call in the animals just about anything, you know, to that area, start prowling around, find your sets. So, there's Agent Orange. Um, that is definitely the skunkiest little rub I've ever owned, so I can't wait to try that out. So, there we go, we've got Ambush, K1, all three of his test lures, and Agent Orange. So, we're gonna put the slam dunk on some predators this year catch them those cat killers um, so anyways there we go 
Big thank you to Young's Bait and Lure. You can check them out on Facebook at Young's Bait and Lure uh, Co. Or uh, you can contact Joe Young directly through his personal page. Or uh, their website is in the description. Seriously. Again. And he wants Young's Bait and Lure. So, anyways, the website is in, in the description. Don't forget to, to subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. We're going to be putting this to test next week. Some all kinds of different predators. So we're gonna cut it off here. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out Young's Bait Lure.